Thank you, Madam Chairwoman. Uh, and thank you to both of our witnesses for your testimony here today. A um, couple questions uh, for Administrator Mills. Um, welcome back. My first question is just in follow-up to some of what's gone on relative to contracts being awarded to some of those uh, who shouldn't have been el eligible in the first place. You talked about a new certification process. Are you in the process of creating a, a new decertification process to once and for all take those bad actors out? Well, many of those uh, have been decertified. I think our decertification process um, at this point works. The question is getting to it quickly and then making sure that those who are decertified don't get back in the system and that they come out of the system. And that's the place so where that's the we're looking forward to um, uh, working with GAO on uh, exactly what happened in these cases and then fixing. My next question is uh, relative to the Recovery Act provisions. I think you painted a striking picture of how important it is to reviving many small businesses that you speak to and that we speak to in our districts um, in terms of small business lending and the secondary market. Uh, the recent decline in loan approvals is very disconcerting, having followed the success uh, that you'd had in increasing it so drastically and helping address the credit gap. Um, I guess my question is, what do you think we need to be doing further? I, I have a lot of small business forums in my district with businesses, and I hear from many who've shared successes from the Recovery Act loans that they've received through the 7A or 504 programs. Um, and then I'm also hearing from others who may not even have applied to SBA, but just have access to capital issues, which is so critical. Um, obviously, we've passed uh, a number of initiatives through the House. We're waiting for the Senate to act, and I would assume you'd want to see not only an extension of the Recovery Act provisions that just expired in May and have led to this downfall in lending, but the Small Business Lending Fund, uh, maybe the 504 to address the commercial real estate markets. Um, what other things would you like to see us act on or the administration act on in support of access to capital improving to address that gap? First of all, I want to thank this committee and the House for passing the extensions uh, several times, actually, for the Recovery Act. We believe that we've been very effective uh, putting the $30 billion in. We are very, very, very concerned about the drop-off that occurred when the authority and the money ran out. We're down 60 percent. We're hearing from small businesses and all over the country uh, that the freeze is back on. We have over 600 in the Recovery Act queue, so as soon as that passes, um, we can fund them. And this bill is on the floor of the Senate at this moment, and we are very, very hopeful. Um, the administration has, uh, the President has been very clear uh, in urging the Senate to pass this bill. We're glad to see them get to cloture, which is always a big feat over there, and I know we're hopeful that that happens because there's such leverage potential to take that $30 billion and put essentially $300 billion of lending out into the small business community. My last question for you is regarding um, the recent recovery report uh, card that showed that you've seen a 32, that 32 percent of the Recovery Act uh, federal contracts went to small businesses, uh, and I commend your efforts in the administrations on improving the level of contracts that are awarded to small businesses. Uh, to what would you attribute that relatively high increase, and what could we learn from it that we could apply to other federal contracting efforts? Well, first, in the Recovery Act, there actually weren't goals, um, but we, uh, the Vice President, um, announced that he was going to consider that all the small business goals did exist, and we beat them all. And we did that by a joint effort with the Department of Commerce, where we conducted over 300 matchmaking events to make sure small businesses and minority-owned businesses and women-owned businesses got access to Recovery Act contracts. The lessons there were so strong that the President has asked us to form a task force, um, and we have, and to implement, not just to study, but to implement um, the best practices from that Recovery Act success to make our numbers uh, in our entire program. And we are in the process of uh, doing that. Thank you very much, and I yield back.